what is going on today everybody we're out in an open field here this is actually the field that i found uh my 18 karat gold bracelet in also my little silver snake ring i found those both on the same day with the simplex with the stock coil on it that was right before i got my camera unfortunately but that actually inspired me to get my gopro and to start start recording some of my hunts so I think I've only found one piece of gold since I had my camera and that was with the Vanquish. So let's see here. Let's bump our sensitivity up a little bit. Up to, that's three bars down for max. Let's see what else we got here. Volume, we're gonna run it low today. The Apex is pretty loud, even in one volume I found. I personally like to run a lot of the times with no headphones. So multi-frequency mode, channel five, channel four whatever i think channel four might be the default channel so all right guys we're running it in zero mode let's see if we can hit any targets out here today so i wanted to do the field today i haven't done it in a while i don't think i've ever swung over it with the apex either so let's actually do a little bit of a ground balance here shall we see what we come up with it's like it's about 75 there first target of the day is actually a piece of cancel out right on the surface super jumpy uh, high 40s to high 50s three and four bars depth so let's see what it is huh this is one reason I really enjoy digging out in the field too. The ground's always super moist over here because it floods. This used to be an old soccer field, but it makes digging the plugs, man. So easy. <laughs> so let's see what we got under here, huh? See if it's just some canned schwa. We're hoping for something better. We have found a few pieces of jewelry out here. Mostly junker jewelry, but... We're hopeful there could be something else in here. This almost looks like some iron. Let's see. Where are you at, buddy? Here it is, everybody. What do we got, man? I don't think it's a piece of can slaw. Hey, is this? I think this might be a bullet. So here's my first buried target with the uh, apex out here in this field. I think it's going to be some type of bullet, huh guys? Maybe pretty uh, modern day. What do you guys think? If this doesn't work, I apologize, but can you see it all right? Let me know if you know what that is down below, huh? Is it just a 22 round maybe? I'm not sure. Let's get on to the next signal, everybody. Hope we can pull something good out here. Think there could be some more gold or silver around here? I'd say so. This is a big old field. Let me drop my plug back in and we'll keep going live for you, huh? Sometimes I don't like to edit too much of the videos. It kind of, uh, you know, you edit out what the reality of detecting is. You're not always getting good signals and a lot of signals, but out here in this field, I've hit it multiple times with multiple different detectors. Sounds more like maybe some can slaw, but you never know. I think on the Apex, uh, it's basically the same. If you're getting can slaw numbers, that can be gold, I'm sure. 43, 44. Let's see what we got. Like I said, really like pulling these plugs with this slightly bigger shovel. Kind of saves your back too. You don't have to kneel down for every target. Or you do, but not as much. got destiny out here with me too she's not detecting today but she's still out here with me what do we got everybody what do you think be some can slaw here it is here it is oh man we got it we got us some can slaw dude what kind of can slaw is this 
I have no idea. See a little bit of text on there. Some yunk. Fill our plug back in. We'll get on to the next signal, everybody. Goes back down in there pretty much perfect. Check it out. All right, Let's see what else we can find. Some more can salon numbers. We're basically gonna be digging everything though. I think most of you guys know that by now. If you want a good chance of getting uh, gold or really anything for that matter, you pretty much gotta dig everything. I mean, I could cherry pick coin signals, but I'm not really looking for just coins. I want to find some potential jewelry out here, you know? What is this? Whew. Almost looked like something good there. That's a mini pull. <laughs> the golden pull tab, man. We're getting closer to the treasure. Let's keep it up. See what else we can find. I love those plugs, though so satisfying when you just get a nice plug i don't know how people out there metal detect and just leave their holes wide open i'd feel guilty i like the satisfaction of filling the plug back in a little bit of falsing there might just be a real faint tone too so what do you guys think do you like this live style video like just the walk along no edit kind of see in real time how many targets I'm pulling. I found on the Apex actually by lowering your sensitivity a good amount, it helps me to pinpoint the targets a lot easier. This 3940 is right in this ant pile and sorry Mr. Ants, but I know you hide the treasure. <laughs> Probably gonna be some can or some aluminum foil, but do we really want to take the risk of missing it up? I think I feel it. Just feel like cancel on maybe. No, it's a root. Here it is. All right, it's not even cancel. It's some aluminum foil. <laughs> some junk, guys. If you don't like this live style uh, digging, leave it down below for me so I know not to really put out any more of these episodes. It's definitely easier for me to make, but that's not the only reason why I like putting them out. It's to give you kind of the more realistic expectation, you know, how the machine actually works in between targets, how long targets take to pull out of the ground, you know? Let's see. More low tones, but I want to dig those low tones, guys. I mean, I could try uh, going for some coin signals or something, but that's not very fun, right? when you already know what's under the ground. I'm gonna go back over though. I've been missing a lot of my zinc pennies or I've been skipping them up. But I think our friend over at uh, Mayor Videos, Marlin said he just found a big thick gold ring that was reading up like a penny. So, you know, that just goes to show you and I know this, I think you guys know this too. Gold doesn't always ring low. That higher carrot and the bigger gold will ring a lot higher. But I think that uh, that other stuff's probably a little bit less common to find. But you still got to dig it, man. If you're not digging it, then you just don't know. You don't know if you're getting everything under there. This is some junk. Looks like some type of packet from years ago. Mayo packet or something. Definitely not very good. get up see what else we got GoPro this could be a nickel right here 51 52 it's giving me a double beep this could be promising it's also reading pretty much right under the the nickel or the ring uh, 
spot there right on your screen so let's see see if it's going to be a nickel might be a pull tab let's see what we got everybody i'm hoping for a gold ring it's out of the hole what do we got it's not gonna be gold i don't think <laughs> Oh, great. <laughs> Just what we love to see. Our old friend, the pull tab. Hey, we gotta find at least one of those every day, right? At least a dozen of those. If we want a chance at some gold, so. We know it. We're uh, living reality here. We don't have any false expectations. Probably won't find any gold today, but if we're not digging those low numbers, we don't really have a chance, so. Ooh, we got a high tone here. Gonna have to investigate that one. 80, 81. Sounds good. Two bars down. Try to pinpoint it, alright. Right about here. Try to dig a smaller plug, see if we can still get it out. Obviously, it's not as small as it could be, but... No? A little bit deeper in there all these targets so far have been a good couple inches deep so it's pretty good i think we got the coin here in the wall here it is pulled it right out of the side wall there what do we got here this one might be a copper penny it's too crusted looks like there's a little bit of green there i don't think it would be a zinc it could be a zinc though i'm not entirely sure if I knew the a, uh, VDI is better on the Apex, I would know that, but haven't been really following along. I'm not sure what a zinc reads to compared to a uh, copper penny on the Apex. We'll have to pay attention though, huh? Got a pretty promising tone under here. That's got to be a nickel, right? Solid 51. Just reading one bar down. Not going to be very deep. Let's try to just go shallow on this one. A little shallow plug here. Now you can do that depending on how you uh, face your shovel. There it is right there. Don't even need the pinpointer. Was indeed a nickel. Nice and solid 51. Was pretty positive it was going to be a nickel. I mean, the Apex gets VDIs, but when it's a circular target, it locks on pretty good. This one, I think, is going to be a 1985. So, not too old, but a nickel's a nickel. That's a good sign to me. Means there's some mid-tones around here. There could be gold. I missed that nickel with the Simplex and the Vanquish, so... Obviously, I haven't done this field very thoroughly. Very thoroughly. So, you just never know what could be out here, everybody. So while I've been swinging it out here in this open field, any target I get has been uh, an actual target. I may have gotten one false, and I think that it wasn't necessarily a false. It was just a target that was probably a little too deep or a little bit too small. So the apex in an open scenario, somewhere where there's not a lot of trash right next to each other or a lot of iron, with this stock coil does really well. If you can dig a good sized plug like this, pop out a nice plug, you ain't gonna have no problem using the Apex. It goes pretty deep, I found, personally, here in the Florida sand. I'm running like near half sensitivity here, and it's still getting me a couple of inches deep every single target. I've been pulling those tiny bullets, so. Here's some Canschlaw. We love it. Check this one out, everybody. What is this? 
Hey, this is a first of mine. It's a 1967. Whoa, this is reading just like a zinc penny. It's a Filipina. I think it's a Philippines. 1967 Philippines five cent centimos hey that thing's pretty cool dude it's from 1967 let me give you a quick close-up on that hey that thing's pretty cool man it's 1967 it was pretty deep down in there though to be honest with you 1967 Philippines and then five looks like five five centimos centimos <laughs> so hey that's pretty cool everybody we'll take that all day long that's the first one of those I've ever found I think that's the first uh, Filipina money I've ever found as well so we'll take that man that's a nice coin put that in our little pouch Maybe we'll get one or two more uh, targets and then we'll get on to the next one. Here's another coin signal down in there. 77.78 Makes our plug so much easier to dig. Yeah, to be honest with you, the Apex does a pretty good job on depth, even when the sensitivity is cranked real low. I guess this one could be a can. <laughs> There's some rocks down there as well. Yeah, look at that, man. That's relatively deep. I mean, considering the sensitivity, too, that we're running on the Apex, we're running it really low. Got another coin here, it looks like. Here it is. Is it American? Is it American? Might not even be American. Let me see. Almost jewelry, but don't think that's gonna be jewelry. It's gonna be something crusty. Maybe something off some clothes or something. Yunk. This is gonna be an old crusty Roosevelt dime. You can barely even see that thing, dude. 